Uh, the University of Sheffield takes more money from arms companies than any other British university. It's taken £72 million pounds over the last decade. Some of the most direct links with the genocide are via its Advanced Manufacturing Research Centre. The AMRC boasts that it streamlined the processes for creating F-35s, which are the Israeli fighter jets that are currently being used to bomb Gaza. Through this new manufacturing process that it developed for BAE systems, it saved the company something like 15 million pounds so far. It's also got an endowment which is heavily invested in companies on the BDS list such as Alstom and AXA and Barclays. This is an escalated action. It came out of months and even years of the university refusing to listen to us via other means. Recently we've held an occupation in WAVE, the university's new flagship social sciences building. We have attended official university events. They refuse to engage with us. We very much draw strength from the fact that we're part of a global movement. Many of us have personal contacts who are protesting in the US. Warwick set up about a week before us, so massively inspired by them. Certainly we are all in communication with each other, trying to make these protests as effective as possible. We've got three key demands here at the camp, asking for the University of Sheffield to boycott Israeli goods and services, and especially Israeli higher education institutions. Israeli universities have been deeply complicit in the repression of Palestinian academics, Palestinian intellectual work, but also the fact that the Israeli state has systematically eliminated the higher education infrastructure in Gaza. We're asking for divestment, and we're asking for accountability. We want the university to acknowledge the mistakes it's made so far, and to meet with us to determine a path forward. We're calling for it to demilitarize and create new sustainable jobs that aren't dependent on military action. We're a coalition which includes staff and students from both campuses. On our very first day here, there was a walkout which featured whole classes led by their lecturers, by their professors coming down in protest against the university as an institution. We're very much trying to model the university that we want to see. We have working groups that makes it much easier to get new people involved. People can learn from their peers that way, but also kind of offer any particular areas of expertise they might have. We also have an agreement that everyone signs on to to be considered part of the action which lays out kind of basic rules and responsibilities around behaviour, around our democratic processes. The city as a whole feels very strongly on this issue. And we've received an immense amount of community support right from day one. I think the main thing is for people to bring themselves. We want people to feel like this is their space. I did the camp and the hunger strike in Sheffield late last year. It was in front of the town hall for nine days. I was so angry of the government complicity to the genocide. We've been lectured about the Western morals, about equality, about the human rights, and suddenly we discover, no, it is not. So proud of them because they are the next generation. They are our hope. I come originally from the town of Khan Yunis in the southern part of the Gaza Strip. I was there for five weeks and I saw the deliberate killing of civilians, including my own relatives, the bombing of my beloved childhood friends. People in Gaza, when they see ordinary people taking action, it's amazing how much it gives them power. We'd rather not be here, but in January, 85% of the people in Gaza were already living in tents. That has only got worse since then. Saeed Zanin, who's a fellow PhD student at the University of Sheffield, was trapped in Gaza with his young family. He is fortunately out now and he's safe, but he lost at least 45 members of his immediate family. We will not stop fighting until the Palestinian people are free and we recognise that our own liberation is also contingent upon that.